Cargoos reported their earnings. They beat Wall Street estimates for the quarter, but their forward guidance was less than stellar. Uh, before we analyze the charts to see how low price can go or will go, um, let's get into the details on the quarter. This article is coming from uh, BartChart.com, and the title is uh, Cargoos Exceeds Q2 Expectations but Quarterly Guidance Underwhelms. So the online auto marketplace Cargoos reported Q2 fiscal 2023 results exceeding Wall Street expectations. However, revenue down 53% year over year uh, to $240 million. However, next quarter's revenue guidance of $211 million was less impressive, coming in 12% below analyst estimates. Uh, Cargoos made a gap profit of $16 million, down from its profits of $18 million in the same quarter uh, last year. So profit-wise, they appear to be growing, probably had more expenses. Um, things have gone up in price um, across the gamut. So I'm sure this has eaten into their, their profits. Uh, the CEO s says, we are extremely pleased with our second quarter results as we exceeded our forecasted consolidated adjusted EBITDA guidance for the quarter. You know, during these earnings reports, you know, they always got to put a positive spin, whether their results are good or not, whether they met expectations or not. Um, it's just how it goes. Cargurus revenue growth over the last three years has been impressive, averaging 48% annually. This quarter, Cargurus beat analyst expectations, um, but reported a year-over-year -year revenue decline of 53%. Um, so we can see the revenue uh, grew. This was probably going into uh, or after the pandemic. Um, and then we saw inflation kick in. We saw car prices go up. Um, which is going to take a hit on revenues, uh, which is why we had a decline. Uh, but it appears it has stabilized um, as car prices have come down and are seen to be holding. Cargurus is expecting next quarter's revenue to decline 50% year over year to 211. A reversal of the 91% uh, year over year increase it recorded in the same quarter last year. Again, kind of like inflation. Um, you know, last year when inflation was going up, yes, it was it was crazy and it exceeded the previous year's numbers because they were normal. Um, so, you know, to beat last year's revenue, um, any company w w is probably nearly impossible for those companies who took advantage or benefited from the uh, the pandemic. As an online marketplace, Cargurus generates revenue growth by increasing both the number of users on this platform and the average order size in dollars. Over the last two years, Cargurus users, a key performance metric for the company, grew 0.92% uh, annually to 31,000. This is one of the lowest rates of growth in consumer internet sector. Um, so this is going back to uh, 2000. And we see the quarters up to year to date. Um, this is in particular uh, Cargurus total paying dealers. Um, don't really know what that metric is uh, based on, but Cargurus may have had a tough quarter, but does that actually create an opportunity to invest right now? Well, that's what we're going to go to the charts and find out. When making that decision, it's important to consider its valuation, business qualities, as well as what's happening in the latest quarter. I'm going to add to what's going on in the uh, broader markets um, and the technicals. So let's get to the technicals. This is the monthly chart. And, uh, you know, the fact that we had this leg down, taking out the uh, pivot low that occurred during the pandemic, you know, you have um, what I call monthly supply. Or monthly sellers at the twenty-four dollar level. All right, let's take it down now. Price did hit a low of 
roughly nine dollars this was uh, in November of last year this was during the market lows and that's why I said it you know the stocks movement is is 40 percent pending uh, the broader market 40 percent also allocated to the sector it's in and 20 percent of what the company's callous are news announcements etc all right so let's go down to the weekly chart and you kind of got some indications of that price was gonna have a tough time moving higher uh, based on these weeks here now the real selling pressure that I see within this monthly sellers level is uh, this must be our earnings uh, early August alright so we're gonna remember that and price nearly came into that level before collapsing so when you want to uh, decrease your your risk uh, you go to the smaller time frames um, this monthly zone is about five dollars or so you cut that in half looking for where that real volume occurred um, you had a steep sell-off here closed below all these pivot lows um, and you can say you nipped it um, so this would have been the start of potential reversal uh, for me price would have had to gotten below uh, these lows here maybe pull back and then and then a short uh, but let's go to the daily chart to see how low price can go you do have some pivots lows at 15 you have a gap as well all right let's just go back to this is how I would do an entry I need a marker there all right let's go down to the daily chart now alright so moving averages are lagging indicators um, so I'm not sure where these moving averages were uh, when price uh, broke through and closed below the momentum moving averages we saw that price did close also below the 50 day moving average uh, before earnings um, but this kind of gave you an indication that the reversal was happening all right, now for the bulls, or those who are interested in getting in, getting in. Uh, let's see, earnings were ah, you had a sell-off before earnings, okay. And then on earnings, price tried to move higher, and then you had the sell-off. But at the moment, you have the price sitting at the 200-day moving average. at 1750 however price is in the middle of this range and when price is trading in the middle price is typically in equilibrium meaning that, that the buyers and sellers are um, even, evenly distributed the extremes are where um, you can get violent moves as the extremes there's an imbalance between buyers and sellers um, so personally I would wait to see if this 1750 level holds um, conservatively you wait to see if price breaks down below the 200 day moving average and fills that gap which was the last earnings when you had a gap up Uh, price structure not ideal but this was the origin of the move higher which took out pivot highs to the left 
so let's just put a marker here the 1450 level was is a lower interest that I would be watching uh, to potentially go long but for now expect price to at least pause at the 200 day moving average which is at the $17.50 level the better reward to risk ratio is if price can decline further as your upside is limited right now because of this massive monthly zone Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please like the video.